Hey guys, Sam here, and welcome back to another episode of the Arsenal Career Mode series. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have two massive games for you guys. The Capital One Cup Final against Manchester City, and the second leg of the Champions League quarterfinals against... No, round of 16 against PSG. It's only the round of 16, so I, I feel like we're so far into the tournament. And you might be asking, why are we already up to the second leg? You guys haven't seen the first leg, and last episode, I wasn't playing the first leg. If you follow me on Twitter, which if you don't, uh, you probably should do, because I keep everybody updated over there. Um, I accidentally deleted some files uh, from my laptop, permanently deleted, because I was getting rid of a bunch of old video files from, like, gameplay recording and stuff like that, uh, to, to clear up some space. And I accidentally highlighted my Logitech video folder which has all my face cam videos in there. Luckily, it was only one episode that I got rid of for the face cam. I still have the gameplay so I thought what I'd do right now is quickly show you guys what exactly happened so you guys could see the goals. Um, so first up we had a game against Manchester United which we won 2-1 away so hopefully you guys are seeing the highlights for that right now. And then it was the big one, man, the, the return to PSG, or I guess they came to us uh, because I believe it was at our home ground. And we ended up scoring three goals to go 3-0 up, and we looked like we were cruising at that point until PSG brought two more back, making it 3-2 going into the second leg. A very interesting game, that one. I really wish... You guys could have seen my reactions to some of the stuff that happened in that game because there were some absolute blinders, some really good plays as well, and all around just a really fantastic game. And we just played really well. I, I, I said it in the episode, well, I said it in the episode I recorded, which is now not an episode, but I said it uh, after the game. I said that was probably our best performance of this season and potentially two seasons that we've been at Arsenal. That is our best performance. So I genuinely am so sorry, guys, that I, I messed up and I, I don't know how I accidentally deleted that folder um, but I, I just I'm such an idiot I'm sorry uh, but hopefully those at least you guys got to see the goals you didn't see my reactions but at least you guys got to see the goals at least you got to see what happened and you're somewhat updated as we go into this final against Manchester City let's take a look at the lineup that'll take them on it's the Capital One Cup final so a chance at some silverware which be which would be very very good and Manchester City is not an easy team to defeat but we've done pretty well against them head to head so without further ado let's take a look at the lineup right that's the lineup we're gonna go for today a bit of a different lineup Lacazette with Rodriguez behind him playing Ericsson out on the left Fakir on the right with Coquelin and Verratti in midfield. Guy Laporte, Davis and Bellerin make the back four with Anthony Lopez in between the sticks. Hopefully this team can do the job here against Manchester City. Uh, Ericsson on the left, we'll see how that goes. Not the quickest, but hopefully it'll work out. He's performed really well ever since he's joined Arsenal. So hopefully he can do well here today. Without further ado, it's a massive final here for the Capital One Cup. And hopefully we'll be picking up a piece of silverware. Potential counter-attack here. we got James Rodriguez going to try and get past David Alaba. Can he do so? Oh, he also gets past Otamendi. James Rodriguez tries playing that through. I wanted to play that to Verratti. Finds Lacazette. Lacazette has the option of Verratti, who's got a lot of room here on the left-hand side. What can Marco do? Pulls it back on his right. Fire! And Denial just puts his body on the line. Sami Nasri. Plays it to Lewandowski, he whips it in. David Silva's in there, boys. It's fawn to Agyapong, who puts it wide. Coquelin now on the right-hand side, making a bit of a forward run, Francis. What can he do? Trying to get past everybody. Plays through Lacazette. What can Lacazette do in the box? Otamendi just shuts him down. Oh, Nazri, that's a fantastic ball. And Lewandowski goes for the volley. Good save by Lopez. Oh, Ericsson just completely does Pablo Zabaleta. What has he got in the tank now, Christian Ericsson? He's got to whip that one in. Lacazette is in there. Oh, and the connection is just not there. Oh, Ericsson. Oh, Christian. Stop it, Ericsson. What a take from Ericsson. Just takes it like candy from a baby and puts it in the back of the net. Christian Ericsson. What a machine. I told you guys, whenever he's gotten the chance to play while I'm playing, uh, he just performed so well. He just previously made a good run down the left. And this time he stripped Zabaleta and placed that in the top corner. That is really good placement. I mean, I don't think you could get much better than that. 
and it's 1-0 to Arsenal. Finally, this game has been unlocked, and we should now continue to win this game, but knowing my luck, Manchester City will go ahead and score now. For here to Lacazette. Good play between the two. What can Alexandra Lacazette do with the ball here? We're just waiting for the run of someone. He's got hammers in there, but Conor Plianka saves it. Fabian Delft plays through Lewandowski. What, it, what can Rob Lewandowski do here? What's he going to do? What's the game plan here for City? Davis doesn't care what you're doing, mate. He will stop it because he is a beast. Christian Eriksen, what is he going to do? He's going to find Sparania. Sparania back to Christian Eriksen. Good bit of play here from Arsenal. What can they do? They play it down wide to Fekir, who cuts in fantastically. Nabil, what's he going to do? He cuts in again. Nabil Fekir does the entire defence. But Zavaleta was there on the final step. Christian Eriksen lofts that one over to Hammers Rodriguez. Can he take it under his stride? He can. It's now Hammers. It's the Hammers Rodriguez show. Plays through to Fakir and Silva again. Just last ditch tackles here from City. Oh, Eriksen first time spins in. Can he keep the ball? He can. He plays through Coquelin. Coquelin to Hammers Rodriguez. Rodriguez plays through Spadania. Our center back and Hart with the save. Oh, Sterling, good touch, mate, good touch. He's got stamina, he's got the pace. Raheem against his former team. Raheem, the dream Sterling, what can he do? Who's he got in the middle? No one, he's gonna cut in himself. He's gonna do it himself. Is he gonna do it himself? No, Denier just makes the save. There it is, full time, 1-0 here. At the at Wembley, I'm assuming. <laughs> what a win here by Arsenal. We had such an attacking display. Credit to Manchester City for only conceding one goal. I really thought they should have conceded more than one, but it's a win nevertheless, and we've got the title, the Capital One Cup, under our belt. So great work from the lads. First bit of silverware for the season, and uh, we're just continuing to get trophies here at Arsenal. It's almost like clockwork. We just are uh, just picking trophies up. And hopefully we'll be getting more this season. Three shots, three on target for us with 52% possession. But man, we were, I mean, we were like literally one shot or one step away from having like eight shots on target. Honestly, that's how last ditch some of those Manchester City tackles were, as you guys saw. Two shots for them, none on target, 48% possession. But at the end of the day, they really didn't challenge Anthony Lopez. And at the end of the day, they weren't good enough attacking-wise, which is crazy because they have Lewandowski and Aguero. And they just couldn't get the job done. So 1-0 to Arsenal, and we are now the Capital One Cup holders. Well, I think we already were. Right, we have a game here against Watford in the Premier League that we're going to simulate just a few days after our game against Manchester City. And they're not on a good run at all, so we're going to put the full strength line up and see what we can do against Watford. Let's just quickly skip it because who cares? And they beat us 2-1, which I'm not too mad about. We have a huge lead at the top, and I don't think we'll be slipping up. But that's pretty unfortunate, the fact that we couldn't at least scrape a draw there. We also have a game against Everton that we'll simulate. Um, and Wilshere hopefully plays because he's seemed to play a little bit more here for Everton. Is he in the starting lineup? He is. Great stuff for Wilshere, but hopefully we'll batter Everton here. Let's skip Campbell injured. I don't like that. And Verratti got suspended. 3-1 here. Fantastic performance, it seems like. But Campbell's injury, let's take a look at how long that is. Right, we have a game against City that we're also going to simulate. A home game against Manchester City in the Premier League. We have an 11-point lead on them. So even if we drop points, yeah, it's not going to be a big deal. Joel Campbell is out for six weeks, so I believe they're replacing him with Ramsey, it seems like. Uh, but Sterling puts us up 1-0, and we'll skip the rest of this game as we win 2-0 against Manchester City. We're just trying to get to that second leg of the PSG game, boys. Right, lads, here it is. The away, the second leg of this PSG game. Huge game here, boys. We return to the Parc de Prince in France, in Paris where we managed for three seasons and completely dominated. So this is going to be a big one, lads. Oh my God. It, the first game was amazing. I really wish you guys could have seen a lot more highlights than just the goals because the game itself was fantastic. I'm hoping we get a repeat of that. Um, it's not going to be easy though, man. They just switch it on. It's like a switch. We scored three goals and they were dead, but they just, when they turn it on, boys, their attacking flair is so crazy so hopefully today 
we win and progress because knocking out PSG is huge. They're pretty much odds on favor to go on and win the entire thing. So hopefully we can do it, lads. Let's take a look at the lineup that'll be journeying to Paris and starting for us here against PSG. Okay, that is the lineup for this game. Well back up front with Rodriguez behind him, Ericsson on the left, Sterling on the right, Verratti and Pjanic in midfield with Guy Laporte, Davis and Bellerin as a back four, Anthony Lopez in between the sticks. Ericsson on the left was pretty good against Manchester City, surprisingly very good. Didn't really need his pace, playing a lot of one-two balls with James Rodriguez, finding people in space. His four-star skills help him a lot to cut in, um, so I thought I'd play him on the left. Sterling jumps on the right-hand side, not a big deal for Raheem Sterling, can play on both sides very, very well. Well back up front because I feel like Lacazette at the moment is just not cutting the mustard. He's done a lot worse than I thought he'd do so far this season. And I just can't get anything done with him. So we're going to try Welbeck and we'll see how that works out and see if Danny can outperform Lacazette. Because Lacazette, man, he's so hit and miss. He has a good game and then he'll have four or five bad games. So I don't want to risk it. I'm playing Danny. Plus, Welbeck hasn't played in a while. So hopefully it's going to be a win here. Guys, we already have the goal advantage. Um, and they have two away goals. So let's keep that all in mind. And let's hopefully pick up a win here. Even a draw would be fine. Uh, there's no need to go out and, and create too many holes for them to exploit. So let's just go there. Let's just perform. I really just let's get a solid performance. Let's get at least a draw and let's progress to the, to the quarterfinals of the Champions League and knock out potentially the favorites to win the entire thing. Christian Eriksen. Can he have a good start to the game? It looks like he is, man. People are just diving in on him. What can he do? Cuts in on his right-hand side. Christian Eriksen finds James Rodriguez. And it's Hugo Lloris with the save there. Good start, lads. Pjanic to find James. James, bang that one from outside the box. What can Paul Pogba do? He finds Mesut Ozil. Don't forget, he's at PSG now. Davis just cuts out the attack, though. Lionel Messi. Messi just gets completely done by Verratti there. Hammers now plays it through to Danny. Danny's going to loft that one back over to Hammers. Rodriguez bangs it on the volley. And it's straight at Hugo Lloris. Well, it wasn't straight at him, but a good save from Lloris. Messi plays it through to Griezmann. Here we go. PSG looking to attack now. They've turned on the switch. Nigelin heads it from outside the box, but Lopez has time to see it. He's got the technique. He finds Hammers Rodriguez. Rodriguez has Welbeck ahead of him. What can Danny do? He's going to play that through to Ericsson. Good work from Danny Welbeck. Ericsson back to Danny. Danny plays that through to Milan Pjanic. Bang that across goal, Pjanic. Lloris, what a save. Neymar trying to outrun Raheem Sterling. That's a leg race if I've ever seen it. That is a fantastic foot race between the two. Neymar whips it and Griezmann's in there. Just over the crossbar. Thank God. Hammers plays that through to Sterling. He's got a bit of room here. Marquinhos is going to try and cut him down, but he's not going to be able to do it. Raheem now on the left. He's just cut in. They've just let him go through. Raheem Sterling on his left. And Lloris, mate. How many saves can he make? He's going to play that through to Verratti. Verratti gets past Thiago Silva. Come on, Marco. Don't screw this up now. On his left. Straight at Lloris, man. Ericsson now. What can he do? He's going to play through Danny Welbeck. Welbeck's got a bit of room. The touch wasn't fantastic, but he's using his muscle. And it's Pogba who cuts it out eventually. Ericsson plays through Verratti. Verratti to Welbeck, who's making a very good run. Can he get past Thiago Silva? He can with a bit of no-touch dribbling. Welbeck from outside the box. Oh, fizzes past the post. What can Christian Eriksen do here? He plays that through to Danny Welbeck, who's drifted out a little bit wide. That's fine, though. What can Welbeck do with it? Oh, my God. He's going to get past everybody. Welbeck put it on his right. And Marquinhos, I believe that is, putting his body on the line. Let's not concede here. It's Dybala on the ball. He finds Leo. Leo's first real touch of the game whips it in. Serge Arias in there and PSG might have just delivered the dagger in the dying embers of the game with it pretty much their only chance of the game. We've been so good in defense and it's just cracked in the last seconds of the game, the last minutes, and they will be going through on away goals if we can't get one back, lads. I cannot believe this. That is the, seriously their only chance. There it is, lads, full time. We didn't even touch the ball. After kickoff, we ran it down, they got it back, and they passed it around the back, and I cannot believe PSG have just knocked us out. 3-3, they've gone through on away goals. And the Champions League dream is over, lads. First season in the Champions League with Arsenal. Got to the round of 16, not really improving on where Arsenal used to get. I was hoping we'd at least make quarterfinals, but the draw was not kind to us because we qualified second in our group. 
And they've delivered the dagger in the 89th minute here today. Serge Aurier with a volley. As you can see, 8 shots, 6 on target for us, 48% possession to PSG's. 3 shots, 1 on target, 52% possession. Knocked out by a very good team. A very, very good team. I felt like in the first leg, we were 3-0 up. We gave away 2 sloppy goals. And today, I thought, the I thought today we performed so well. And it was just the last seconds of the game where we conceded, unfortunately. So... It's a loss here today, lads, and we haven't we haven't gone through. We brought Arsenal back to the Champions League, but this is as far as we take them this season. So now we can focus on the Premier League, which we've pretty much wrapped up. That's it for today's episode, guys. And as you can see, we're absolutely smashing the league. With eight games left to go, we have 75 points. We have a chance to absolutely obliterate that point record. Uh, for Chelsea. Well, actually, not obliterate it. There's 24 points up for grabs, 8 games left, 3 points per game, so there's 24 points left. We could potentially end on 99 points this season. <laughs> this season, it's not gonna, obviously, it's not gonna be that easy. Might not happen, probably won't, but that's incredible. We've done really, really well this season. We thought last season with the Invincibles was amazing, but this season, We've been even better. 62 goals scored, 18 conceded, all due, uh, uh, okay. A lot of them were simulated games. I haven't really been playing that many games in the Premier League this season, which I understand. But we're still having a fantastic season. The team is just stepping it up. City are in second, which they have been for a very long time. Liverpool are now in third, which means Bournemouth and Villa both drop a spot. Uh, and it seems like a lot of you guys are rooting for Bournemouth and Villa, especially Bournemouth, man. I had a lot of people like, yes, I really hope Bournemouth, Bournemouth makes the Champions League. And it looks like between them two, they'll be fighting for that fourth spot because after them, it's a five-point gap between Villa and Spurs, a seven-point gap between Bournemouth and Spurs. And you've got Manchester United there as well. Still could make a late charge, could potentially make top four Spurs and Manchester United, but it really looks like it's between Bournemouth and Villa for that top four spot. <clears throat> as far as relegation, it's been the same the whole season. The bottom four has stayed the same. Leicester, Stoke, Watford and Sunderland. And Sunderland's been in and out with Watford. So we'll see what happens there. Last eight games of the season. Guys, if you did enjoy today's episode, make sure you smash a like on the video. 150 likes would be absolutely fantastic. I'm really sorry about the face cam thing and losing footage for what was meant to be the last episode, but I crammed it in here. Sorry about that, guys. I just don't know what came... Like, I don't know why. I just didn't think it was highlighted when I clicked yes to permanently deleting it because the files were so big, but... Whatever, we'll move on, uh, we'll continue, and it's alright, it was, at least you guys got to see the goals, at least I didn't delete the actual gameplay, that would have been really, really bad, because I don't have a save point, because I don't, I couldn't go back and play that game, because the save points were after that, so very, very fortunate that I at least had gameplay to show you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you can forgive me, and I hope you had a good day, I'll see you guys in the next one very soon, keep it real.